the music staying on? Uh, okay, thank you. Well, dear all, huh? it's a great pleasure, delight, I should say, to welcome you today again here in the theater at the Freithof to celebrate the opening of the academic year together. Most of you are watching the live stream of home, of course, but I'm very happy that we have also some of the audience here in the room. The fact that you and everybody else here today can celebrate with us is a much needed sign that things slowly are returning to what we used to call normal. I have had the honor of opening the academic year many times now, but never before has it felt, and I'm sure my colleagues uh, Rihanna and Nick feel the same way, that it's a sort of a new beginning, and a beginning with energy, ambition, and also aspiration. And speaking of aspiration, I would like to introduce to this audience again shortly our freshly launched strategic program 2022 to 2026, Maastricht University, the European University of the Netherlands. Welcome to the European University of the Netherlands, UM Strategic Programme 2022-2026, showing you who we are, what we stand for, and what we aim to develop and achieve in the coming period. Learn more about our mission, vision, and Maastricht University's added value from stakeholders and staff. We are a young and top-rated university at the heart of Europe, with an engaged and inclusive academic community making its mark on the EU region and beyond through practical, problem-based education and first-class research to meet the challenges that society is facing. Check out the interviews with executive and senior staff. For example, with Martin Paul on why UM has a distinct European focus. We hope that this online guide to our strategic programme will give you a clear picture of our plans and ambitions for the next few years. Want to see more and navigate your way through the interactive video? Check out our website. Here you can also read and download the full version of the strategic programme in PDF format. UM, a European university with a global impact. Okay, this was a short preview, and I'm sure you will look uh, further on our homepage to uh, dive into it. It's quite worth to look into our aspirations and the plans for the next uh, years. But uh, the opening of this academic year is our topic, of course, and it's a special one. And I think we're also looking ahead to a special academic year with a mix of on-campus and virtual activities. And uh, though I think optimism helps, and I'm cautiously optimistic that hopefully within the next, in this academic year, we really um, can open more and uh, can come together even more than now. But without doubt, we have to follow for a while the restrictions and regulation from the, that the COVID uh, pandemic uh, puts on us for a while. And uh, so in a way, I think this, uh, when I come to the topic of this opening, transforming universities, I think this pandemic certainly has transformed not only society, but also uh, the university community as a whole. But in the topic, transforming universities, we didn't want to reflect on the pandemic, but why transformation is an important topic for universities, and I see three dimensions. First, the university itself. I think as a university in these times of geopolitical, economical, and social unrest, we need to create a transformative atmosphere. And we need to strive to evolve and transform ourselves as an academic community. Our new strategic program just attempts to do this, and it's a program that has developed with the community itself, inside and outside the university. I think it gives a good stimulus and how our university can be a transformative agent for our own organization by listening to our challenges and plan ahead. Secondly, I believe that universities have also a role to transform society by disseminating true knowledge, not fake news and alternative facts, but also by providing a learning environment for young people and serving society to help develop itself further. 
Our university will continue to be a motor of transformation for Limburg and beyond, as we have shown over the last years. For example, with the establishment of the Brightland campuses and the triple or quadruple helix spirit, but also by reaching out to our citizens in Maastricht and beyond, and I just would like to name the Maastricht Working on Euro program and the Youth Alliance that tries to, to really transform the idea of how universities work together in Europe to become true European universities. Last not least, transformation also needs to be carried out by people. And of course, I can't call them transformers because that would remind us of a movie with some very ugly robots, but let's call them transforming agents. People who stand up, energize, and move the process forward. They can be found in all corners of the university, staff, students, and even university leadership, but they're also partners who work with us across the community both local and global. Today is, therefore, most of all, a celebration and recognition of exemplary persons who are these transforming agents that we need in this change process. If we continue to work across these three dimensions, transforming ourselves, our surroundings as well, continuing to be a community of and for transforming agents, we can be optimistic indeed about the future, our own, and that of our surroundings. I believe that Maastricht University should and will carry on with a strong international profile as a caring university and with a strong European focus. That does not mean splendid isolation and being an institution with a narrow-minded view. We will look at, interpret, and influence the world from a platform in the heart of Europe. Our expertise, the composition of our student and staff body is well positioned to carry this process further. I'm therefore confident that this university will look back in five years at the time of our 10th Lustrum and become 50 years of age to a period where we have used our transformative power successfully and in service of society. But as I said earlier, our ceremony is also a celebration of people people who are examples of transforming agents, people who stand up to their principles to serve the community and fight for positive change.